hello everyone welcome to my channel so today in this session we'll talk about selenium automation uh, of your login screen of a login screen of any application which has enabled two factor authentication with with google authenticator so this is a challenging use case where you've been asked to automate a web page but you can't log in because it requires two factor authentication right and most of the applications of current enterprise companies they normally have two factor authentication enabled and they have made it mandatory so how will you proceed so in this case google authenticator is one of the best option to start to continue with this process so what is google authenticator google authenticator is a mobile application developed by google that provides two factor authentication for securing online accounts what are its features two factor authentication is like it adds an extra layer of security by requiring not just a password but also a time based one time password so what is time based one time password it is a password that is basically a six digit code that is generated by google authenticator app and that changes every 30 seconds this code must be entered along with the account password to gain the access okay now we'll see how can we set up now what are the prerequisites first you log into your desktop go to your local setup local desktop and go to your um environmental variables set create couple of environmental variables one is google username google password and another variable google security key now how will you get google security key for this there are some pre prerequisites now in your browser you should have a valid google account and you can sign into your google account on windows devices only okay make sure um you log out from from your google account in from all your mobile devices okay now what is the process to set up your google authenticator app setup um log into your google security page first then click on two step verification now process to log in again to view the two set of verification page this is the step below like scroll down and click google authenticator setup choose your platform android or iphone and click next click can't scan it scan it again option to grab your security key and click next copy the security key this security key you will need it for your automation and uh, now next step is that you should install google authenticator app in your android or iphone now open the app and click on plus icon choose enter a setup key enter an account name enter a security key generated type the key and click on add button navigate back to two step verification page enter the dot p verification verification code generated in the authenticator app click to verify click on done and google authenticator app has been set up successfully so this is the step like you will need to have a google authenticator app set up in your android or iphone to make sure um you can you have you have set up correctly using the security key which you have got from your windows machine and uh, that is needed for, to continue the automation now the next step is how will you automate so there are two ways to automate one is i am giving you the codes code snippet for java and the c sharp because i have done the automation for both the app programming language so you need to go to this maven repository if you are building a maven uh, based framework maven test ng java based framework you need to use this maven repository aero gear otp java 1.0.0 from the maven repository and uh, you just put the dependency in your maven form file and build your code once that is done you should write a small three uh, small piece of code like this create a dot p um, um object and then you should set up you should call your um, google security key which you have created a, the environmental variables in your system and then 
you should write a code like this to return the two-factor code. Similarly, for um, C Sharp also, we have another NuGet package manager. You, you can install OTP Net package, and then you can similarly call the security key from your n mounted variables. Okay, and you should you should return two-factor code that will generate the two-factor six-digit token, which you need to enter in your application while automation. So now we'll have a brief demo of the application, like how how I have automated. We'll go to the we'll have a code walkthrough. So I will quickly go to the code walkthrough. So here you just create a normal Maven based framework and um, just create a normal class and um, just create a normal test ng class and create a method and uh, do your normal setup like you can you just instantiate chrome driver and call the and set all the properties for chrome driver dot exe and then give an implicit weight and then basically run, try to open the gmail account and um, so to make sure that you enter the two-factor authentication you just create a you just call your two-factor code method which you have created so this is the two-factor code method i was talking about just call your main testng class and make sure it generates six digit token and enters in the um, xbox where where we need to enter okay so now we will have a brief um, execution to see how it works So my Chrome driver has launched. It will enter the username and password. Okay. So now I will continue. You can see it is entering and then it has launched the browser. That's how you will automate your Google authentication. So I'll do it one more time to see if it works again. Just enter your username and password. Now enter the password. See so you saw right, it has created a it has entered a six digit authentication token, right? And that is needed to make sure you're you are you are successfully logged into the application. That's how it works. And I hope you enjoyed the session. If you like the session, please hit the like button and do subscribe my channel. Thank you very much.